So what's the deck called? So the deck is called Vanquish Soul U Bell. Um, I did my first day really playing it in this specific version. I've been testing the deck a lot on EDO Pro for like the past month or so since I got Vanquish Soul. Um, I think this is my favorite version of Vanquish Soul. Do I think it's the best? I don't know. I just prefer it. So I mean, let's let's get into this list. Typical Vanquish Soul lineup: three Rosin, three Xiaolong, three uh, Borger. I mean. Two Xiaolong, three Borger, two Mad Love, two Caesar Volius, one Pantera. Typical Vanquish Soul lineup. Uh, if you don't know Vanquish Soul, this is your searcher. If you have two fires in hand, this is your searcher. This, depending on what you have, you can either draw. The attributes you have in your hand, dark you draw, earth and fire you burn for 15, which is important for this version specifically. This is your spell trap searcher. You're not going to really use its other effects that often. This is a towers and a uh, pop. This is uh, basically a special summon level 4 uh, and a spell trap destruction. Um, the attributes are important for this deck so um, I'm going to be doing like the non-engine monsters in attribute order kind of. The non-engine starting with the honorary Vanquish Soul monsters, uh, 3 Fenrir, uh, 1 Rise Heart. Fenrir uh, basically replaces itself and basically represents a, either an earth or a fire in hand, depending on what you need. Uh, special summons itself, it, uh, you know, banishes as it's safe for the deck. Rise Heart um, is actually very useful in this build because a lot of it is actually, this build is actually focused on burning your opponent. So getting to uh, level 7s allows you to go into um, Metal Flare, which um, helps you burn for game. And when I summoned this, it almost practically won me the game because it put my opponent on a timer. Now for hand traps, we have three ash, two bell. Um, you're normally Vanquish Soul uh, plays three, three bell, three shifter, three ash. Um, I decided to cut down on these to fit the engine, and I specifically decided to uh, fit the U bell stuff. The reason I played this deck today, two U bell. I mean, two spirit, one regular, um, one nightmare pain, one mature chronicle, three super poly. So today, when I played the um, the this was a um, this wasn't in the deck, and then these two were um, in Durandals. But after the the tournament, I uh, switched this. This is um, kind of just a win con because. Um, you're going to be burning enough, and depending on how many monsters your opponent has on field, which is a lot for most decks, this will do anywhere from like 3,000 to 4,000 plus, especially because Vanquish Soul can swarm the field very easily. Um, I might take out Mature Chronicle because it really didn't do much today. All it did really was summon a Spirit of Ubel. If you summon this and then your opponent like banishes it, like destroys it by card effect, you're kind of just stuck with a Super Poly. Especially um, if you banish the other Super Poly targets off of um, Prosperity. You really want to have the U Bells in action so you could summon out the Fusion. Um, Super Poly is just generically good in uh, Bakel Soul, especially because on the meta where people are running fires, you're running five fires within, with like almost every other card in the deck getting, getting you access to this. So Super Poly is just generically good, even if you don't see the U Bell stuff. Small World and Prosperity just help increase consistency. Small World, I believe, I know most Vanquish Soul lists play Durendal, but for Ubel specifically, you want to be playing Small World, so that way you have better access to uh, Ubel. That way, um, the only card you're hoping to draw is Super Poly, which is easier um, thanks to uh, Prosperity and Borger. So it's fairly easy to draw into Super Poly. Um, so Small World just helps you get access to the Bell. Um, which with Nightmare Pain basically gives you three extra copies of uh, Spirit of Ubel or Ubel. I always go for Spirit of Ubel because it's easier to cut to bring out in this version. Three stake your soul, one continue, one snow devil. This is Dark Hole uh, with a uh, 1800 burn attached to it. This is a monster reborn. And then this is just three extra copies of every other Vanquish Soul, of all the Vanquish Soul monsters. And then finally, one Rotom. Best card in the format. <laughs> it's just another copy of Razor. 
So that is the main deck. It is 41 cards. Let's start with uh, 3 rock. This is like your main extender of the deck. You need to be playing 3. You're going to be going through 3 a bunch. Um, this is the main card that matters other than the Ubel Fusion. So, you know, this helps you survive until you get to the Ubel Fusion. And uh, you're... It, you don't really uh, care if this stays on the field with super. You could just fuse it away with super poly. It doesn't really matter because you're going to be activating your effect, your this effect during main phase one, and you're going to be super polying main, mainly in the battle phase when you summon Spirit of Cubo. In one IP, one Nightmare Phoenix, one uh, Unreal Goddess. This uh, towers out. Um, this is kind of like a floodgate out, and then this really doesn't come up. Um, I'm going to change the extra deck once I get um, like. Borbo and Chakanine. I'm gonna take out these two and put in a uh, Borbo Chakanine to help get easier access to this. Battle Boxer um, helps you get access to Rosin. Uh, if you have two level fours, you can make this make a Rosin. Abyss Dweller because graveyard types are format. Zeus um, because uh, it's Zeus. And then with Borbo and Chakanine, it gets even better. Two other super poly targets. If your opponent destroys your own U-Bell. Then onto the rest, one metal flare, three U-Bell. So I want, I play three because um, there are some decks that just extra deck rip. Like I know Pure Dog Magna, I know it's not gonna be prevalent this morning, but you never know. They rip, Cash Tier Unicorn rips. Um, so I just want to have three copies just in case. And um, it's a free uh, prosperity target. One of them is a free prosperity target. Word. Metal Flare uh, puts them on a timer because every time they activate a card or effect, they take 500. So the big thing about this deck, your entire engine almost, right? You have all these cards that burn for damage. So what you generally want to do is get the burn effect with Borger twice. Then when your opponent sets up a board, summon your Ubel, and then depending on how much they take damage, and usually it'll be close enough to end the game. Um, I had a duel where I did, um, it was against Snake Eye Fire King, um, I uh, summoned, burned for 15 twice, then he summoned, he made a whole board, I had uh, like four monsters on board, plus the Ubel, I summoned that, and burned him for close to 5,000, and it was just enough to win the game. That's wild. Yeah, and then with Nightmare Pain, they have to attack. Uh, it, it's it's wild. I really, really like it. And it, it gives a Vanquish Soul a alt win con in burning, and so you just um, you put pressure on your opponent to just out all the cards that burn you. And then the side, typical Vanquish Soul stuff, three Shifter, two Nib, one Dust Devil, two Cosmic, one Duster, three Infirm, Three, um, well, two summon limit, one Tika Boo. I didn't side at all this tournament because I just there. This deck is so tight that like if you want to side in cards, you have to take out the Ubel stuff. So um, and I just found that I would rather play the Ubel stuff. The only thing I would have maybe done is side out this for um, well, do this. So side out these for the Ubel package. So like take out so put in these, take out the Ubel stuff. But even then I think the Ubel cards just add so much to this deck that um you wanna just keep them in. Um still learning the deck, but the two wins I did get were against Snake Eye Fire King. So um with the wanted engine and with everything. So um, you know, I think this is something worth trying. And I'm definitely gonna keep playing it for the format. So that that's about it really. Word. Thank yeah. you for sharing, bro. That's Thank amazing. You. Thank you. Vanquisher you bell.